Hello, are there? You're welcome to the sports segment here uh, on Pulse. Well, Jose Mourinho is a gunner. That's been the trending story since morning. He's been sacked as manager of Manchester United. His last game in charge of the club was against Liverpool over the weekend at Anfield with the loss by three goals to one. My colleague Sir Winsaki joins me and fortunately he's also a Manchester United fan, so he makes the discussion uh, very nice. So when Jose Mourinho is a gunner, I'm sure you anticipated this. Well, definitely. But not the timing. Well, yes, of course. And then you expect him to leave at the end of the season, not so soon. But then after the Liverpool game, you could sense that um, those time was coming up because of his utterances and how he destabilised the squad and took away the unity and the players weren't actually thinking about football anymore but then we're thinking about what their manager is going to see in mm. front of the press and all the time and what he was doing against them the bringing players together clashing heads and all that wasn't good and he was just a toxic person for the company and he had to go looking at the factors that probably led to uh, jose Mourinho's dismissal for manchester united could Rio Faria, a man that he worked with for 17 years, leaving him uh, at that point at United. Could, could that also be a factor? It's definitely a factor because Rio Faria is somebody that's worked with him since he was in FC Porto. Mm. He was his um, fitness trainer. He went to Real Madrid with him, Inter Milan and Chelsea and all that. So he's somebody that he's been with for a long time. And they had a little bit of friction with his last season at mm. United. And then Rio Faria had to move on to also find his own career. So, so at that point, Mourinho started feeling lonely because if you look at the day-to-day -day work of Mourinho, that's mostly when it comes to training ground work, Rio Faria is always in charge. And at the moment when he wasn't there, Mourinho had to take charge, which he wasn't so keen on that side of the mm. job. He was more of the management and working other things. But Rio Faria was doing the more of the training ground work, working with the players. If there was nobody there, Mourinho had no one to work with. He just met uh, Michael Carrick in terms of manager. He didn't have that relationship with him. That's why I brought Kieran McKenna too. But then Rio Faria was a very important manager behind him and he was the one working with him. So Rio Faria was also a point where he made Mourinho feel lonely and that's why maybe mm. he was a bit misbehaving. Probably other factors that also led to his dismissal. You could talk about the first relationship with some of the players, uh, notably Paul Pogba. And then his utterances mm. after games against Tottenham Hotspur when he lost by three goals. You know, instead of saying something to appe appease the fans, mm. rather was talking about how the three 0 means that he's won three titles mm. as compared to the other managers in the English Premier League. Also, after the Liverpool game, he was comparing his Manchester team, Liverpool, to that of the Porto team that he used to win the UEFA Champions. Mourinho is all about pride, and he always thinks about himself first. No matter what when it comes, whether he loses or wins, he comes back to to make sure the credit comes to him. And that's why against them. Um, um, Spurs, you've lost three, you know, come and say something to the <laughs> fans to let them know that at least we are going to get back here. Yeah, talking about you winning trophies and <laughs> other managers in the Premier League haven't won anything and that's a big problem for him. For Liverpool as well too, the same thing, winning, losing that game, you are here talking about your FC Porto team. That's not what the club needs at the mm. moment. We need solutions to make sure that the team is playing progressive football, attacking football. United is defending. Mourinho takes his games to just keep his players from um, losing games so that he can get his pride back, mm. so that he can blame referees or any other person. These were the problems the directors had with him, okay. and they had to take him out. All right, so we'll go, we'll go on our Facebook and read some uh, comments. But before uh, we do that, you also have to look at probably who is coming in now, Joe. Jose mm. Mourinho is gone. A lot talk about uh, Jose, why he left the club. Now, Manchester United have made it clear in that 60 uh, 6 uh, word uh, uh, press release mm. uh, the yes. statement yeah. of uh, his sacking. Now, they talked about getting a manager as in on an interim basis from now to the end of the season and then mm. uh, bringing a substantive manager. On that basis, should Carrick continue or I think that they should bring in a, a, a manager? Well, to be honest, the damage has already been done and United are a bit distraught. They have to reorganize themselves. We have to restart the club. And with Carrick being there at the moment, um, you think that Carrick should be there knowing the club being there. He's, he knows the structures. He knows what's going on. He was under Mourinho. He would know definitely how to get the squad back together and make sure that everybody's in the right team. At the moment, it's not even about taxes. The players need to get united and they respect Carrick so much. For 48 hours, Carrick has been given to. That's what the board wants. I'm, I don't think Carrick will maybe have the energy or as a courage to take the team throughout because he just came into management. What they have to do is definitely for him to take the 48 hours, he would have to bring in another manager and interim. Mm. And that's why talks have been coming through that and social and all that. Yeah, because so sure. as an interim manager, you can't bring in any big name manager just for six months so that you go away. You need somebody who wouldn't want the job permanently. Maybe the person will be doing that job to get a permanent work, but then for a bigger manager at the end of the season. But Carrick is taking 48 hours. Then after that, again, in interim manager. And that's where names have been coming up. The social, Laurent Blanc, mm. Ryan Giggs also been coming in. These are not really top managers. Okay. Yeah, but so briefly, in terms of getting a permanent manager for Manchester United, 
Asimbenga's name uh, has come up. Also, Pochettino, right. uh, Diego Simeone, a lot more names, uh, Zinedine Zidane, of course. Yeah. Who do you think United should go for? Well, for Asimbenga, he's done a good job, <laughs> but that's just for Arsenal. Pochettino is somebody that I would like to see him at Manchester United. Zinedine Zidane um, won trophies at Champions League with um, Real Madrid, but then for he himself with Manchester United, I don't know if he can take the problem because Manchester United's structure is more than just the coaching. The directors and everything, we have to change a lot of structures to the players. He needs to bring in new, a new team to make sure that the whole thing is done well. And I don't think Zidane has that clout to be doing that job at the moment for him because he's not even a Manchester United um, former player who knows anything about the club. The club needs to revamp. The things need to be swept away and brought up a new thing. And that's why we need somebody else apart from that. Maybe Pochettino knowing England mm. very well and any other manager. Pochettino is someone I can think of most. Wow. Jose Mourinho is working away with some cool cash. 50, uh, 22, 22 million. Yeah. Wow. That's not bad. So let's go over and uh, get some Facebook comments. Uh, we, we posted on our Facebook page uh, that uh, Manchester United sack manager Jose Mourinho did not uh, take the right uh, decision. So uh, there you go. We read some of the comments to you before uh, we call it uh, a show here. Now this one uh, from IBM Anya says, uh, if they didn't take the right decision, Kra, what can, can you do? <laughs> All right. So Joseph, I was also right. I was waiting uh, for this news for some months. Now Jose had to go long time because he lost everything right from the dressing room. And uh, Toko Che Jacob says, uh, we Liverpool fans are not happy with this decision. Every team uh, <laughs> was taking its share. And after Liverpool, no, you sack him. How? Okay, Thompson uh, also writes, uh, when he's gambling with the happiness of their supporters and you are asking whether it is right, no, it is left. Okay, thank you very much for that comment. And Sechi Dani also writes, after United made mediocre players like Shakiri look like Messi and Fabinho look like Tony Cruz, I think the best thing was to let him go. And Ernest and McMahon also writes, it's perfect. And I strongly agree with the board for this board decision. Now other players will sign new contracts and they will be willing uh, to play their heart out. Glory, glory, Manchester United. A lot more comments on our Facebook page. But Selwyn, I mean, briefly, before we take leave of uh, our viewers, a lot of a, a lot of Manchester United fans are jubilating that Jose Mourinho is gone. It's very strange. Well, I mean, for a manager who has won so much um, with his career with Chelsea, Inter Milan, it's quite disappointing that people are celebrating his departure. But then, if at the moment at the club, even at Manchester United, he's won two trophies at the club, and if at the moment people are celebrating, it tells a lot because um, the toxic environment that he created at United wasn't happy at all. Mm. He was losing games that United shouldn't lose, and United fans are used to playing attacking football. But with this manager at the helm, United were just seeing their club going back and back and back, playing negative football, defending against Liverpool. Mm. Liverpool and Manchester United is more, the rivalry is more than everything. Okay. And for the, the two teams to come together, it always attack, attack. But mm. at the moment, Manchester United, the club, which is even supposed to be the bigger club, was defending. And I think that's when, when Mourinho lost everybody. Awesome chat. And it, it gets better mm. uh, when you, you have a Manchester United fan doing it. And that was my colleague, Seven Saki. He's a true and true Manchester United fan. That's how we end the program. A lot more reactions will come through uh, following the sacking of Jose Mourinho. Uh, as Manchester United manager. Join us uh, on Prime. Uh, there will be more sports here. I'm Benedict Tosu. Thanks so much for your company.